exhibition is called uh, Gabo Martinez, The Land of Flowers. The name is an English translation of a Nahuatl term, uh, Xochitlalpan, which literally means the land of flowers. Uh, it's a reference to an Aztec or a uh, Mexica as they knew themselves, a mystical realm where the ancestors were dwelling and could be called into existence among the land of the living. So it's an exhibition that really focuses on the flower as a unique uh, historic motif in Mexican culture, as well as spiritual elements that Gabo Martinez, the Texas-based artist uh, whose solo show this is, focuses on in the body of work she's presenting here. Gabo is combining her interest in research in pre-colonial motifs like the flower, um, and also her own personal motifs that she develops through meditative drawing and just series of works that she builds up over time that you can see in her ceramics and her printmaking. Um, in particular, the piece in the center of the gallery propped up in the center of the cinder blocks uh, of the crying eyes is a motif that she developed because um, she wanted to kind of celebrate the virtues of being a bit of a crybaby, or in Spanish, chillona. Gabo does lino cut uh, printing, partially because the linoleum uh, that's used to make these prints is very forgiving as far as cutting goes. And to her, actually, as an artist who works primarily in terracotta or barro rojo, which is a very pliant clay, it mimics some of the abilities that she has to do some of her mark making in a similar way on the lino cuts. So for these, she uses hand cut blocks that she puts on mulberry paper, which is why you can see this very fine, almost iridescent paper waving behind me has that very luminescent quality. And she presses the paper into the ink blocks with a tool called a baron to achieve these very, um, the effect I would say is vibrational on the eye with the vivid yellow and the denseness of the patterns on the paper. I think thematically, the piece that I think people should take a close look at, um, all of them really deserve a close look, as in addition to the flower and the eye motif, Gabo harnesses uh, motifs like the skin of corn or piel de maiz to decorate her checkered vessels, and so she's sort of converting a lot of historic motifs, as I said, into her personal visual language. Um, but she actually is really well known for her poem or inscribed vessels as well, of which there is only one in this show. Uh, the one is called Poem Vessel, and it's by the title wall of the exhibition. Um, and on it, she's inscribed a very self-determinating poem about what it means to her to actually call into existence a realm like Xochitlalpan, the land of flowers, and it's by her will and her artistic um, efforts alone that she can actually create the conditions for her to thrive. And it's an important connection to her community work as the founder of the Tepeyac Collective, which is based in San Marcos, which is a group that's really focused on bringing um, attention and needed resources to BIPOC artists in the ceramic field. Um, and giving them the opportunity to thrive as well. So I would say um, to people, take some time to read that. Um, it's a poem that goes all the way around the vessel and it's a really powerful statement of Gabo's about why she's making the art and her intentions both physically and spiritually when she engages in her craft process.